Hello, my young friends. I'm so glad to be able to spend some time with you today. I hope you had a good week last week. And Happy New Year! It's 2022, and I hope your new year is filled with lots of fun and lots of blessings. Okay, I want to talk to you about a couple of things this week. First of all, I want to talk about sports. We just finished with football season. Go dogs! We are in the middle of basketball season, and this is my favorite sport for all time. I love basketball. Soon, we'll be starting baseball season, and a lot of you like to play baseball or watch baseball on TV. And then there's soccer. Soccer is such a fun sport, and it's so much fun to play and to watch. If you get a chance to play soccer, you should give it a try. Oh, I also have something on my chair. This is a pretend hand, and it is showing the number one. Sometimes if you've ever been to a game, you may see fans holding one of these because every fan thinks that their team is number one. We're number one. We're number one. And sometimes that's true. But do you know what? There are some people that think they are number one. They think they are more important than everyone else, and that's just not true. In the book of Matthew, someone asked Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? And Jesus said, the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. So who is your neighbor? Your neighbor is not someone who just lives in the house next door. Your neighbor can be a friend, a teacher, someone else at school. It can be a family member or someone at church. Your neighbors are everywhere. And God wants us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Because you see, boys and girls, God loves all of us equally. He doesn't love me more than he loves you. He loves us both the same. It doesn't matter where we live, what we look like. God loves all of us just the same. And he sent his son Jesus to teach us that. Jesus was born in Bethlehem, of course grew up to be a great teacher and a great preacher, and he taught us that God wants us to love each other just the same because that's the way God is. God loves all of us, and that really makes me feel good. Okay, so the next time you see somebody with one of these, just think, we're all number one. We're all number one. We're all number one. And remember that God loves all of us and that he wants us to love others. Okay, boys and girls, let's bow our heads and say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us equally. Help us to love others as we love ourselves. Thank you for your son, Jesus. And thank you for a new year. Help it to be filled with blessings and love for everyone. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have a good week next week. Stay safe, healthy, and happy. And remember to do your homework, make up your beds, and clean up your rooms. And remember the most important thing. We're all number one. We're all number one. See you soon.